Thonic is a 100ml round bar which I've able to use to make the bottom plate, the actual piece that fits in the liner. The dimensions of this are quite critical so it's a good fit inside the liner with a lip on to actually draw the liner up through the, through the cylinder block. It's going to be refaced first and then a, a hole in for the threaded rod and then two dampers turned on the outside. We'll face it up first. I'm not sure what sort of material it is. It's even better by than made of steel by the feel of that. Lock the carriage off and make a nice job of facing it. I just want to take everything like this to, to flatten it off. I don't want to take any more metal than I need to, just to make it as strong as possible. This is something extraordinarily tough by the look of that. Turn that tip rover, I think that's a lot more than the main seal on the machine there. The tip doesn't look bad, but I'll change it. Bastard! I'm pleased I cleaned the lathe. Because normally when the lathe's dirty, that's when you drop the when you drop the screw. Something horrible, lad. No, I don't know what that is, but it's not. Uh, it's not what I need to make this out of. Okay, I've found some of these packets. I need to take a machine, but I'm still to get it out of here. I'll be able to machine goes down as a one go and then part it off instead of trying to turn it round and chuck it. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, this isn't made of steam either, it's something. By simply playing around with different speeds and feeds, I've managed to find some of this sort of it likes being machined at. Or at least it did, it just feels like the water sent and onto the, the surface speed then slows down. That's the only trouble where people give you a bit of steel, you don't know what they are. And for the application it'll be ideal. It's just going to be a little bit of a pain in the off the machine at all.
much one with a sense of taking two mil off. Not bad for a 75 pence Chinese nail tip. Great and chip really nicely. We need 89.65. Got ninety point three. We'll take one more cut on the same setting, just as a spring cut. It's also a warm, so we'll let it cool down a little bit. These sides are very important, and um, it's got to be clearance between the liner and the ball, but it's time as much grip on the liner as possible. At 90.15 or the vernier. See it is warm. The mic's giving us 90.1, 90.16. We'll let that cool off, put the kettle on, come back and get that finished. This is cooled down now. We've got a size of 90.5. We need 89.65. So we want a tenth of a mil off one side. Touch it off very delicately. I'm going to do a pass just for that touch, just for that little scratch cut there, so I bring the down to. Taking virtually nothing off there. Right, 89.75. Right, this should be the last cut. Taking point zero five, so it's actually taking point one of a mil off it. See that eighty nine point six five. The building has given us eighty nine point six three six four, so it's one size. Next, we need a step machine down here. And that is to be two point seven five mil smaller than that. So now we've got a zero set on what they are row. Simple matter there. Machine that in.
Right, so now we've got this machine down. That's just under bore size, so that will fit in the bore of the liner. And that's just on the over the other liner. And this is the piece that's going to get pulled up through the block to remove the liner. Just going to take those little two sharp edges off. Just enough to derag this one because you want a nice square shoulder on there. Right now it wants a 20mm hole up through there and then that part off. I don't know what steel this is but it's certainly decent material. The solid carbide drills that Mark gave us, and that's absolutely beautiful the way that's going into there. The set of them will be pleasant. Next time it's parting off, I don't just want to turn all that away and waste that bit of bar. So I'm going to give it a try and see if it will part it off. And then this is pure and tight. a lot because it's a, it chucks a long way away from the end of the spindle to chuck our made. It's making some horrible noises that. It is getting there. I managed to find the speed and feed that it's happy with. Keep your hand on the clutch and keep some oil running into it. I hope you will get there. Cheap and cheery bang good parting tool. And I have parted my steel off this damn before without, the, without any major problems. This will be a, a city waste where water will definitely help. Sorry about oil, but it just makes so much of a mess when you're trying to do videos. 
on your bus to drop off. We're at the bottom there, I think. There's a lot of blade sticking out the front of there now. I've turned it around in the chuck, uh, that face there is alright where the parting tools finished it. I just want to put a nice little chamfer on there and put a little chamfer on the, the hole through the centre. It'll run nice and true. High jaw which is this one, so if we loosen off the opposite one, tighten that one. Same again, high jaw, this one. I want and that's within so and a half pretty good I am tempted to take a cut across the end so I can get a better finish on it. Very tempted. Definitely settle for that. It picked up very slightly there, but it's that's not bad. Right, the final bit of machine is there's a flattening machine on each side, one there, one the other side. Uh, the flat needs to be 10 mil. Uh, I'm gonna try fly cutting and see what sort of results we'll get. Here we are, it off. I'll put a foot on. One little foot should be alright.
Turn it up. I'm just going to put a nice little chamfer on there just to tidy that edge up. Here that should go on into there and do exactly the same job. So now I can turn that over in machine either two chamfers. Right, that's basically the job finished now. All the bits are made, I've just got to cut the, the threaded bar to length. Uh, the lad that's getting it, I'm going to ask him if he'll he take a little bit of film or take some pictures. If they're actually pulling the liner out, I'd like to see it working myself. I've got a little bit of uragan to do on here, but basically that's, that's it, it's worked out quite nicely. I would really like to know what sort of material that is. I don't want to think I don't want any more of it. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. One thing I have noticed in the last, probably the last fortnight, my subscription rate has grown up quite dramatically. I'm getting 50 and 60 new subscribers a day. I'm not quite sure what I've done different uh, other than I did put the BSA Bantam um, motorcycle well repair job as one of my cover videos, uh, possibly it's that. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It does make a big difference. Anyway, thanks for watching.